Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if it's your first time. Today's video is going to go into tips and tricks for this foxy eye makeup look that has taken over the internet. I wanted to put together some advice on what's made this look easier for me and given me the best results. I think this look is so pretty. I've seen it on a few different people. Everyone has a different take on it and everyone looks stunning. So I'm excited for you guys to try it as well. Very quickly before we begin, you can find me on Instagram at girlgateglamorous and on Pinterest at mollygardner1 and there's always more on the blog at girlgateglamorous. One of the things that I want to talk about is how this foxy eye look is different than a cat eye. I have this photo of a gorgeous cat eye that is from Surat Beauty. And as you can see with the cat eye, it dips down a little bit here at the edge and it's more of a liquid liner, a thick consistent line from tail all the way to the front of the eye going over the lid. And the difference with the foxy eye is that the majority of the color is going to be concentrated from the pupil out and it's built up with shadows as opposed to one solid liquid liner line, which I think makes this look so flattering, especially on more mature eyes. It's very, very soft and forgiving and just really stunning. So you can see the other difference with the cat eye is that the liner is taking up some lid space right here. What's so amazing about the foxy eye look is that as you can see, I don't have a ton of lid space, but it really looks like I, I at least I feel like it looks like I have a lot here because the liner is really pressed in between the lashes. So it gives you that illusion of having really wide eyes. Let's get started with this foxy eye look. No matter what eye look I'm doing, I love to use primer because it makes eyeshadow last, but it also makes it more vibrant initially. And then normally I would go over it with a powder, but today I'm gonna go over it with a just a lighter colored shadow all over. This is the Ilia Cool Nudes palette that I love. You know what, I forgot. I'm actually gonna do this side first and then do this side all at once so you can see how fast it goes. So let me even out this side. And this is just an e.l.f. fluffy brush from the Precision Collection that I love. I'm grabbing my first crease shade. This is a light transition shade called Wedge from MAC Cosmetics and a fluffy brush from IT. This is in a magnetic palette that I made of all of the shades that I use a lot. And I'm gonna go right in the crease, maybe even slightly above it. My second crease shade is Saddle, also from MAC Cosmetics, another refill. And for this one, I'm gonna use a smaller crease brush. You can see the difference in size. This one's going to be a little bit more precise and this one is a more diffused application. And again, just a few little taps of it. And I'm going to go right into this crease of my skin now. Grab your fluffy brush again and then just fuse those two. And I'm just blending this up and out. You can see that this is a little bit messy right here. Don't worry about that right now. We're gonna clean everything up at the end. Whenever I'm doing any sort of liner or shadow, I always make sure that the liner is going up and out and following the lower edge of my eye. The lower edge of your eye is always going to be the best guide for you to get everything lifted and going up in this direction. If you follow the crease of your eye down or the slope of your eye down, it's going to bring the look of your eye down. So always follow this lower edge. Grab a piece of tissue. At the side that's bumpy, you're gonna rip it in half so that you have a nice wide section of the smooth edge. Never in my life as a makeup artist did I really think I would be telling you to wrap tissue paper, but <laughs> here we are. I've done this a few times now and this just made it so much easier for me to line up on both sides. And now grab a smudge brush. I like this particular smudge brush because it's flexible enough for me to be able to do the work that I wanna do, but it's also really narrow and densely packed. This one was only $3 by the way. So I am grabbing now a deeper taupe shade 
is just slightly darker than what we used on the crease but I also just really like the tone of this one. So this is where you really get to personalize this look. Grab the shadow that is the most flattering for your skin tone. Now grab your tissue paper. And for me personally, I don't like to bring it down too far underneath my lashes. So I'm gonna bring the tissue really up against this outer edge and line that up with your lower lash line. And again, you can really personalize how far you bring this out. You can bring it out really far for a dramatic look, or you can keep it pretty small for every day. What we're doing is we're actually trying to create a shark's fin. I'm going to look down and just start to go over that area. Okie doke. Now I'm gonna grab my eyeliner. You could actually do this part first as well, and I just forgot to, so I'll do it first on this side so that you can see. I am going to use my favorite taupe gel eyeliner. I like this one because it doesn't skip. And of course, last night I lost my pencil sharpener. Cannot find it. So your pencil should be as sharp as possible. I'm going to do the best I can with this one. And I am going to pull the liner right to about where the blue portion of my eye begins and then work back towards the edge of my eye. And I'm gonna flick this up just a little bit at the end. And now I'm going to deepen up this section even more. So grab a liner brush. A flat liner brush is exactly what it sounds like, a very narrow and densely packed brush. This is a travel size brush from Luxie. And now I'm gonna grab an even darker charcoal shade to just accentuate that liner. Don't worry about this little dip yet. I'm going to show you a trick in just a second that cleans everything up. And look down a little bit. only applying that charcoal shade right here at the edge. You can see already how this is really lifting my eye up. Now grab a Q-tip and some moisturizer and put that all on the back of your hand. This is one of my favorite tricks with this look. It's really essential in my opinion to making it look perfect. You really want this to be saturated so that you don't even feel the cotton. All you feel is the moisturizer. And just clean up that outside edge and pull the line up and you can leave that long if you want or clean up that as well. Grab the original light taupe in your smudge brush again. We stopped the liner right here where the blue of my eye starts but I'm going to press a little bit of shadow in between my lashes and then down into the inner corner of my eye. If your eyes are already close together, this might visually bring your eyes too close so you can skip this part. But if you're like me and you have fairly average set eyes, I really like how this lengthens the whole look. I'm doing a little V-shape with the shadow and then if you want as well to connect this portion with the outside edge, you can just bring a little bit in between your lashes on the outside. And I don't bring any of this underneath my eye really just because I do find that I like this more lifted look and sometimes eyeshadow underneath the eye can bring the look down. I'm just checking to make sure that when I fold my eye like this, I want to have a little bit more shadow right here. And I'm just gonna add, I just added a little bit more to that crease. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush 
and just gently blend that out so that I don't have any harsh edges there. So the key elements for me with this look are having it deeper here at the, this edge and then having that area of skin have a little bit of the taupe shade on it so that you don't see it dip like you would with a cat eye and you can bring that down across your lid to create that shark fin look. Let's do it in real time so that you can see how quickly it goes. some mascara and then let's talk about lashes because there is a specific lash style that I prefer with this look. If you are doing this for an everyday look, this would probably be great. Just throw the mascara on and really direct your lashes up in this direction. But I do think that this eye makeup look looks exceptionally good with a winged lash. I really like to concentrate that wispiness in this direction. These are the double tapped lashes from Girl Get Glamorous Hair. These lashes are longer in the center, so I'm gonna just gently pick this up and I'm gonna cut this in half so that I get really wispy winged out bits and then grab a pair of tiny scissors for lashes. And what I'm going to do is just cut this lash right in the middle. And then with my two pieces, I'm going to switch sides so that the longest part of the lashes are on the outside edge of my eye. One tip with false lashes that makes a huge difference is just waiting 30 seconds for the glue to set a little bit. And as that glue becomes tackier, the lashes are so much easier to apply and they don't move around as much when you're setting them down on your eyes. With the eyeliner, I stopped right at the beginning of my eye where the blue begins. And with the lashes, I'm going to set them down so that they begin right around where my pupil is and then go up towards the rest of the eye look. And I'm really making sure that this front part of the lash is pushed down as close as I can to my lash line so that I get a really natural transition. 
Once your lashes are dry, grab your flat brush and grab your charcoal shade. I'm just going to go over where the lashes met my liner. My favorite combination for this look has been the Patrick Ta lip liner, and this is in She's Proud. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is the Matte Revolution in Super Cindy. That is everything. Thank you so much. I absolutely love this foxy eye facelift in a makeup look. I just truly love it. So thank you for watching. Please take a second to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.